Hey guys, uh, this is Phil Sov again, and this is the second fight between Otabo and Dole here in the Netherworld bracket of the Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 AI Tournament Season 2. Uh, I forgot last video to try to do this, but I am now playing with an increased FPS. So as you can see, it's a little bit looser on my end, but hopefully I won't have to input too many things right off the bat. Uh, let's see if I can do the line... Uh, Tabo's team was first this time, so Blix, and Dole, and Ezron, and Mary, you guys are up. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. And then we have casters, and kind of front fighters, and chemists in the back. And we are once again at uh, the Banished Fort. This is, of course, where... Zolbag should have killed Dysagar, but what do I know? Uh, now, Otavo's team is the defensive one, so this may make a difference. I don't know. Uh, he is set to protect the Geomancer, and everyone else is saying, save fading life. Yeah, uh, see, I'm not, I'm, not, I mean, I'm not used to playing with this much FPS, so, uh, keep telling everyone to run like a rabbit, just because I hold down the up arrow or down arrow too damn long. Anyways, uh, Blix is up, he's just kind of racing forward, uh, Blake charges up some cool song spell thing. Hopefully he won't get hasted like last time, because, as we learned, that just makes for the suck. Uh, yep, and then Otavo does some haste action onto all three of them. As Beastly goes for a long range Earth Slash, which hits the Oracle. Uh, haste resolves, hits the Oracle, and only the Oracle, so Tess, she's good and hasted. Oops, sorry, Summoner, Earth Slash is Summoner. But uh, she got healed up as Bix moves forward a little bit. Some last song action, uh, quick on to Beastly and Latavo, who does some more haste action and more Earth Slash action. And Tessie has nothing to do. Blake keeps on doing whatever. Uh, some self moogledge action as everyone else kind of moves forward. More haste resolves. Uh, everyone has haste now. Bad for Blake, good for everyone else. Moogle resolves. Uh, she's healed up nice and well thanks to that. So they had a nastier slash. And then we have some paralyzed action out of Tess, which gets blocked by the Geo Shield. As Blix starts jumping. Uh, we have some range fights going on. Oracle's getting jumped on. The Geomancer just did some elemental action and then hit speed save. Tess's reaction, if she had one, didn't trigger it. I guess weapon guard, no. Tess is dead. Poor Tess. So, uh, nothing for Beastly to do. Not kind of, they're out of Earth Slash range, it's kind of at odd angle. Uh, Blake stops singing, does some Phoenix Down action. Otabo does a triple panel elemental. Hits three of them, trick and speed save. Uh, no status, that sucks. Blix keeps on going. Uh, jumps again. Guess there's line of sight thanks to melee. So Tess dies again. And we have some pitfall action onto the gentleman. Uh, Chemist gets done acted. Beastly moves forward, does some revive action onto Tess, who then goes and heals herself, backs away a little bit. Kim's can't move. Uh, got some AoE getting charged onto the crew by the Summoner, by Dole. Uh, more triple panel Hell Ivy. Uh, Mary Magdalene is now stopped. And I guess, oh, black costume. But Tabo just uh, healed himself, that's why I moved in. But uh, Tess is dead again. Thanks for Sal Salamander. Trigger speed save. And uh, Beastly, instead of resing people, goes for some Earth Slash action. The summoner is now critical. Looks like she's charging some Moogle onto herself. And she gets an explosion. As Otabo goes for some more double panel spell. Uh, I'm going to guess more don't move action. Weird. Yep, oh, double slow. Who, which gets countered, and now these boys are slowed as well. So we now have uh, some slowed people and some normal-sized people. Uh, elemental 
occurs onto the guys. Got a little bit of don't move action going on. But uh, got a little bit of counter flood action, a little bit of a uh, speed save. Uh, keep on killing each other, counter floods, jumps going all around. Ezron gunning after the Geomancer. I'd go after Beastly myself because he can, you know, revive. But whatever. And they keep on gangbanging the Geomancer. Yeah, he gets a Shiva cast on him. He's getting jumped on also if he somehow survives the Shiva. Yeah, excessive jump. And now they're all going after... Beastly, and then he gets death sentenced because he was slow. Uh, he does a revive onto Blake, who rises up the Geomancer. Got a little wrist chain on our hands here. Nothing too major though. Minor A, we kill them all. Yeah. Death is your treasure box. Uh, Geomancer getting jumped on. A down with Hubble goes. Haha, <laughs> Papyrus Blade. Uh, we got some Hell Ivy and a zombie getting thrown into the Geo onto uh, the chemist. Zombie doesn't happen. Blake's down. Beastly, one last move, goes for the Crystal Mail, and then Blix just kind of frolics around, because, hey, Beastly's dying soon. Yep, run away from the dying guy, and he kills over. Okay, uh, you guys are now one and one, that was kind of a quick fight, but let's see what the third round has in store for us then.